Princess Roxy and I just thought I'd show some of the projects I've been working on for an upcoming craft show, a craft sale. Um, I don't do a lot of Halloween only because I love it, but I don't do a lot because the sales I have are tend to fall after. This year it happens to be one that's going to be on the weekend of the 30th, so hopefully, I'm just going to make a few things, not a lot. But anyway, so I just, these are some Michael's uh, lunch bags, and I use Dollar Tree washi and stickers to gussy those up. I thought they turned out a little cute. So that'd be cute for like, you know, gift bags for your special little someones for Halloween. And here's another one. And then I kind of covered up the eyes because they look so scary. These. I use the bows or whatever for, or the bones for bows. And then these are, um, what was the store called? I don't get the thing anymore. Or, or, I can't remember, but there's some like um, online store where they get, not, oh, what is it? It's been a year or two. <laughs> but they sell stuff. You know, you get a thing every day, and I got tired of seeing it because. I was tempted all the time, so I quit watching it or getting it. Anyways, that's where I got these bags. And then again, I used stickers and washi from Dollar Tree and did a little doodling. Just outline stuff. So this was just kind of... And then I had a cut out some paper from the um, Recollections Night and Fall, I think it's called. Um, some scallop circles for a background. Just to anchor everything a little bit. These are cute stickers, though. I love the bats. Meep. <laughs> Very cute. So those are just little goodie bags. You could make a card and put it in there or whatever. Then I made um, some Grandma's Brag Book type things. These are made from one piece of... Well, the base is one piece of... 12 by 12, and then the photo mats, so to speak, are a piece of 12 by 12. And I'm going to do a video on that because they're super fun and easy to make. So I did not decorate the inside at all because all you got to do is put a photo in there. And then you can write, and it goes both sides. Like I use these so that if they want to write, you know, jot something down about the photo. But that's it. And then you just decorate the front and... I um, glued down the ribbon before I put this backing on. So that's that one. And here's Loves of My Life. Some pumpkins and the paper is from oh, We Are Memory Keepers. And it is Autumn Gold, I think it is. And then this is that Recollections again, the night and, I think it's night and fall or night and autumn or super cute. This is actually really cute. This paper. Aren't they cute? And then it just opens kind of almost like a Jacob's Ladder but not. <laughs> so that's that and here's the last one. And I just used the... Um, I, I uh, typed up the labels and printed off on my computer, just from Word, just came up with whatever. Um, and then that's it. Hopefully they'll sell for a few dollars here and there. And then I've done pictures of these. These are just some, um, the stamps, I, I just did a stamp haul on these. They're the... Stampin' Up! Barnyard Animals. And here, these are the Dollar Tree. You know, they come in strips. They're washi tape. And then I just um, stamped a little heart and outlined the bookmark. Here's some sheep. Here's some kitties with some yarn. And then here's a duck quacking at somebody. 
quacking hello. And here is a bunny. Really cute with a wand. That's sweet. And then the fox. So thanks for watching. I will keep showing what I make. It's always fun to show our stuff off. Um, and I'll talk to you later. Thanks. Bye. Maybe.